the world's population will likely reach 8 billion in 2022, a monumental achievement for species that once only existed as disparate roving bands numbering in the dozens. The dramatic rise in the number of people on Earth is, of course, a very recent phenomenon, looking at history from a large time scale. There were fewer people on Earth many thousands of years ago than there are in a mid-sized city today. Now, when it comes to arriving at reliable estimates of how many people were alive in the past, it's not as straightforward as you might think. Scientists think that the first hominins lived around 7 million years ago. Around 2 million to 1.5 million years ago, the first species of Homo showed up. Based on what we know now, modern Homo sapiens probably appeared around 190,000 BCE. Modern Homo sapiens came from Africa, but the exact spot has been debated for a long time. People think that for the first two-thirds of human history, different groups lived in different parts of Africa. By 4000 BC, the population may have been 800,000, and by 3000 BC, it was 3 or 4 million and by 2000 BC, it was 20 million. A little later, other Neolithic people moved into Mexico and the Andean Highlands. But this does bring up an interesting question. How many people have ever lived in all of human history? The team at Our World in Data made the above unique and powerful visualization to show how many people have ever lived and how many people are alive today. How many people were there before us? Demographers like Toshiko Kaneda and Carl Hobb have tried to find the answer to this question. To count all of humanity, you need a clear start date for when people became, well, people. Since evolution is a slow process, it's not easy to figure out when people first appear. But for this exercise, the two demographers chose 190,000 BCE as the endpoint. When thinking about ancient people, there are two opposing points to think about. Around the chosen start date, there were not that many people on the planet, maybe as few as 30,000. Before the modern era, people lived for a shorter amount of time, so long periods of time can really change numbers in a big way. Demographers think that over 192,000 years, 109 billion people have lived and died, based on this information and this time frame. 117 billion people have ever lived if we add up all of the people who are alive today. When you think about the fact that 7% of all people who have ever lived are still alive today, it's amazing that so many people are still alive after more than a thousand years. But if we look at the recent rise in the world's population, it starts to make sense. This means that there are about 14 people who have died for every person alive today. It was only in 2007 that the majority of humans began to live in cities, and in 2018 that the majority gained access to the internet. We'll never meet the 109 billion people who built the foundations for our modern societies, but as a species, we've never been closer. From 1 AD until 1650 AD, the rate of growth was slower, and this growth did not always happen in a straight line. This is mostly because of things like the Black Death, which killed a third of the people in Europe. In modern times, the Great Chinese Famine, which happened from 1958 to 1961, and is also called the Great Leap Forward, was another event that killed a lot of people. And it's a sad reminder of what can happen when a government tries to change a country too quickly. About 46 million people die of hunger in a period of three years. And most recently, the infectious disease COVID-19 has wreaked havoc around the world and killed an estimated 6.45 million people. How best shall we repay the sacrifices of those who came before us and those who will come after? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. They always lead to an interesting dialogue. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see more like it from this channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.